Toad streamer seismic surveys have historically suffered from near-surface noise created by the ocean waves and the ghost effect. Conventional streamers contain only hydrophones, so ghosting cannot be eliminated by summing the signals from different types of sensors. The effect of ghosting is to cause interferences at particular frequencies dependent on the streamer depth, effectively attenuating some parts of the frequency range, creating periodic notches. Towing the streamer at greater depth will improve the ocean surface noise issue, but this creates a complication with the ghosting. Notches caused by the interference with the ghost change the central frequency and therefore affect different parts of the data. However, towing the streamer deeper results in more of the crucial low frequencies being recorded, improving the images of very deep subsurface structures. To reap the low frequency benefit of deep tow without losing the high frequency resolution required a revolution in instrumentation. GeoStreamer, the first ever dual sensor marine streamer. GeoStreamer comprises of co located hydrophones and vertical particle motion sensors. The two sensors record complementary upcoming and downgoing wavefield information. The ghost is recorded with opposite polarity by the hydrophone and normal polarity by the motion sensor. Using different sensors means that the ghost notches are positioned at opposing frequencies. Where one spectrum has a notch, the other spectrum has a peak. When combined, the notches are filled and the full bandwidth of the recorded data is restored. With the introduction of GeoStreamer, eliminating the receiver ghost and hence recording data that is much richer in low and high frequencies has become a reality.